Proper doctrine is under attack. Technology is distracting us. The prosperity gospel is seducing us. Cults and false gospels are proliferating. Identity has become the buzzword of our culture. And tolerance is demanded for every belief except the exclusive claims of Christ. This is the environment in which ABWE has chosen to strengthen our doctrinal statement. Hi, I'm Paul Davis, president of ABWE, and it's my joy to share with you some exciting news about our updated doctrinal statement, which strengthens our commitment to the timeless truths of Scripture and positions us to stay faithful in a changing world. Our new updated statement addresses crucial doctrinal areas that are under attack, like the nature of God, the Trinity, the exclusivity of Christ, the necessity of conversion, and biblical marriage. And it reflects both our commitment to orthodox theology and our readiness to address contemporary challenges. After a thorough two and a half year process of prayer and close collaboration with pastors, missionaries, and theologians, our board of directors has approved this strengthened doctrinal statement to be effective January 1st, 2025. So what's new? Well, we've included a new article on evangelism and the Great Commission. It emphasizes the urgency and the necessity of sharing the gospel. We've strengthened our language on the Trinity, aligning with historic creeds. Our statement also recognizes more of the nuances that exist within the body of Christ on some tertiary matters of eschatology. This enables us to work alongside mission-minded believers with varied perspectives on the Lord's return while remaining true to our conviction that Christ is indeed coming again. The statement also comes with a host of resources that you can use as teaching tools for your ministry to help you deepen your personal understanding of what we believe and why we believe it. From a catechism to use with your children or for personal devotions to a video series called Foundations which is aimed at helping you confidently articulate the core truths of the faith. As we approach ABWE's centennial year, we stand firm on the foundation laid by our founders. They were blessed not because of their innovation or novelty, but because of their unwavering faithfulness to proclaim the ageless truths of Scripture. And I'm confident that if we continue to defend this foundation from all challenges— knowing that Christ is honored by our zeal for his truth, he may bless us as well. So we invite you to check it out. Study it. Look up some verses and explore the resources. They were designed with you in mind. And as always, thank you for your partnership and commitment to the gospel as we advance God's kingdom together.